Calculating load limits with the S279 machinery eye bolt is straightforward. Using two slings in a true inline load, each side will see half the total weight. From the Crosby lifting guide, notice that for a 90 degree horizontal sling angle, the load angle factor is 1. In this example, the total load is 5,000 pounds, which is divided by 2 for each sling leg, and then multiplying by the load factor, which is 1. The result is that each side lifts 2,500 pounds. To select the proper bolt, refer to the Crosby lifting guide. Note that the panel does not mention the S279 because the information is the same for all Crosby shoulder eye bolts. We need to select an eye bolt whose working load limit exceeds the required load of 2,500 pounds, which in this case is a one half inch machinery eye bolt with an inline working load limit of 2,600 pounds. Let's now look at how increasing the horizontal angle affects the size fitting required. For 60 degrees, the load angle factor is 1.155. Again, we divide the load of 5,000 pounds by 2 and then multiply by the load factor to determine the load each sling leg will see. In this case, each sling is loaded to 2,887.5 pounds. We will round the calculated load to 2,888 pounds. Referring to the lifting guide, you will notice four columns showing the rated capacity of Crosby shoulder eye bolts at various horizontal angles. Crosby shoulder eye bolts have a catalog rating based on inline loading. As side loading occurs on the eye bolts, they must be down rated. The smaller the horizontal angle, the greater the reduction in the working load limit. As an example, let's look at the quarter inch size. At 90 degrees or in line, the rating is 650 pounds. As the horizontal angle changes, so does the resulting working load limit of the eye bolt. At 60 degrees, the rating is 420 pounds. At 45 degrees, the rating is 195 pounds. And at horizontal angles less than 45 degrees, the working load limit has been reduced to 160 pounds.